My favorite game coming out this year is finally hitting the testing phase. And yes, testing phase for this game means release is actually around the corner. And when I say favorite, I mean I want this game more than I want Real Seas and more than I want Holy War X. Pocket Anime. Now I've covered Pocket Anime numerous times on this channel from last year all the way to this year. In my opinion, Pocket Anime is the epitome of Roblox anime games. The epitome of the biggest, best, and some of even the most well made. Now I've already gone into depth about how big this game could be in this video. And not only that, from the sneaks we have seen, every character in the game has individual unique movesets that have different animation, which is honestly crazy. Crazy. As my boy Swift did say in his video, that's stuff AAA companies don't even do. Nintendo doesn't even individually animate every single move for different Pokemon. Sometimes moves get reused, so that's honestly super commendable. So it's understandable why this game didn't come out last year and has taken so long to even get to the testing phase. What does this mean for you? Well, there is ways that you guys can get testing or early access to the game and through going inside the discord server and buying silver gold or champion roles inside of the pocket anime discord server you are actually able to qualify for early access to pocket anime it's actually very similar to the way rail sees is doing it so you're not actually paying to get early access and there are free ways for you to actually gain early access to pocket anime now you might be thinking ags this is just testing slash early access this has nothing to do with the game releasing but it kind of does now usually when games go into testing you are not able to record or stream the game's content most of the time however if the developers for pocket anime are saying hey this game is not media banned and you are able to record content for this game that means the game is in a playable state in which the developers feel comfortable enough to allow the public to see actual gameplay and if everything goes smooth in the testing slash early access phase of the game i can get almost guarantee you very soon after the game will actually come out with a release date which is what we all want everybody wants to play the game everybody wants to get inside a pocket anime now there's a few things we need to talk about first of all is swift dfg swift i just watched your video why did you just talk about Gara and getting the demon type just because he has a Jinjuriki? It, it doesn't even make sense. Oh my gosh, it doesn't make any sense. I do want to mention that Gara is not a demon type, even though he does have a tail beast. So that also does kind of give off the impression that later versions of Naruto will also not have the demon type. But to be honest, I think it's really because Gara gets his tail beast extracted. So it wouldn't make sense to give him demon type and then he gets weaker. Because for those that don't know, demon type looks really busted. So essentially, if they with that same logic, that would actually mean that Naruto would also be a demon type because he has a Jinjuriki too. Gara wasn't a demon. He was just a traumatized kid, literally that grew up to become a cold-blooded murderer. And he grew out of that phase thanks to Naruto. He wasn't a demon, my guy. And even then, Shukaku isn't any sort of special type of demon or Jinjuriki. He uses sand. Shukaku is made out of sand. Why wouldn't Gara be a sand or ground type? user it doesn't make any sense to give gara the demon type i'm so sorry it was just a stupid take he was just a traumatized kid and second of all if you guys want guides tips and tricks how to create strong teams viable team builds competitive team builds and things of that nature you guys might actually want to come to me the actual pokemon master pokemon scarlet and violet pokemon sword and shield pokemon diamond and pearl or should i say pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl all of those games i have competitive bred shiny teams six iv ready to go honestly challenge me any day you want i promise you i'll be i've spent multiple hours playing each one of those games and i actually have competitive wins in small indie leagues or just playing online in general i know how to breed a competitive team and from what pocket anime is looking like they have taken heavy inspirations off of temtem and if you don't know what temtem is it is a monster catcher game that came out a while ago that was really popular and still has quite a big fan base now and the reason i know this is because they are not using pokemon stats such as 
use IVs and EVs, they're using stuff such as SVs and TV. And if you don't know, SV stands for single value, which are a randomized set of unique stats for an individual Pokemon, or in this case, we'll say Animal. And if they did do it like Temtem, which from this sneak, it really does look like they did it similar to Temtem, a SV ranges from one to 50. And this has a random chance of being the case in any Animon that you capture. And if you're catching Animons that have SVs that go up to 50, that are in the 50 range or high 40s range, well, you just caught a really strong Animon. Anyways, this isn't the video to go over that. I promise you guys, I'll have an in-depth breakdown for when the game comes out of what SVs and TVs are, how they apply to your Animon, and how you can use that in order to make a strong PvP competitive team. And yes, it doesn't only have to be used in PvP, you can use it in PvE as well, but you're most likely going to be focusing on Animon stats in the end game. You're not gonna focus on that in early game because it doesn't really matter until you complete the story and actually start to focus on the PVP side of the game, which is all end game content. So until then, oh my gosh, pocket anime. I'm going to break down this game for you guys because a lot of guys struggle with basic Pokemon knowledge. I think it's complex when in reality it's actually pretty simple once you get your hands on it. I can't wait to see what the developers actually incorporated into the game from games like Pokemon and Temtem because I've played both of those games vigorously. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the game's mechanics and how they utilize Animon stats. But until then, Pocket Anime, I can't wait to see you. And guys, we will be doing stream for Pocket Anime testing base. So I can't wait for that. I'm gonna see y'all boys in the next one. Peace.